Hi, my name is John Young, and we will be presenting our final project for ME 231A. Maneuvering autonomous vehicles in an environment with obstacles is a challenging problem that arises in the development of self-driving cars. Attributed to the increase of computational power, a large body of work has been done regarding optimization-based path planning for self-driving cars. In this project, we worked on maneuvering the autonomous vehicle in a front-end parking application. Hi, my name is Stephen Chen. Our project builds upon the work done in the paper Optimization-Based Collision Avoidance by John Ninninger and Brawley. The core of our collision avoidance control problem is shown on this slide, where we minimize our objective function while respecting the dynamic constraints. The key constraint in this model is found in the last line, where E and O respectively represents the space occupied by the control system and the obstacles we need to ensure that the control system does not hit any of the obstacles, therefore the intersect between the region must be zero. Furthermore, the obstacles are convex sets with non-empty interiors. The limitation of this model is that it does not minimize the penetration if the collision cannot be avoided. In our appended model shown in the slide, the system dynamic constraints are still in effect but the new constraints verify clearance and quantify penetration between the two-dimensional controlled system and the wall obstacles in the model. The constraint on the second to last line generates lambdas corresponding to dual variables associated with each obstacle. If the system does not intersect with an obstacle, this is satisfied and the slack variable S sub K equals zero. Therefore, it has no effect on the cost function. However, when the system and an obstacle do intersect, the slack variable increases proportionally to the magnitude of the overlap. In this event, the solver recognizes this through the second term in the cost function. Therefore, this control model is able to optimize the trajectory to the final state while minimizing obstacle penetration. The vehicle dynamics are governed by the equations on this slide with the following states. X and Y coordinates correspond to the center of the rear axle. V is the rear axle's velocity and the phi is the vehicle's angle with respect to global x-axis. The inputs to the systems are acceleration and delta, which is the steering angle with respect to phi. Now we will pass it to Jonathan and Byron to discuss our simulation. Hi, my name is Jonathan Rogers. And as we transition into the Julia code implementation, I will talk a little bit more about two key features of the algorithm. First, soft constraints and second, warm starting our IPOPT solver. First of all, I will talk about the need for soft constraints. Now, if the distance formulation cost function is feasible, the solver will achieve obstacle avoidance parking. However, the limitation occurs when a collision-free trajectory is unsolvable due to state and input constraints. As a result, soft constraints are used to minimize the damage. This is explicitly seen in this extension of the distance formulation where slack variables are included as seen in A in order to quantify the system and obstacle overlap, i.e. when there is a collision. And we included a penalty in the cost function as seen in B whenever the hard constraints are violated. Now this brings me to the next topic, warm starting. In order to provide our hybrid obstacle collision avoidance algorithm with an initial guess, we do what is called warm starting the system. We run the hybrid A-star path planning algorithm to provide an initial baseline trajectory. Since the hybrid A-star algorithm grids inputs and states and only takes into account obstacle constraints, the trajectory it provides is not smooth. Therefore, the IPOPT solves a smoother trajectory while taking into account vehicle dynamic constraints. This figure, as you can see, demonstrates that the hybrid A-star provides a feasible but coarse trajectory for a front-end park while the OBCA algorithm, as you can see with the blue line, provides the optimal smooth trajectory. Now I will let Byron talk about the simulation results. Hi, my name is Byron. Our goal was to perform a vehicle front end park. The first step was to do this in simulation. We used the sample code provided from Bark's GitHub, which implemented the obstacle collision avoidance control problem mentioned previously, and we modified it to perform a front end park. This is the successful simulation of the front end park. As you can see, the car approaches the parking spot from the left-hand side and performs a three-point turn to successfully front park. 
The simulation utilizes the hierarchical obstacle collision avoidance algorithm, which uses optimal control to generate obstacle avoiding trajectories. As shown, the car successfully parked while staying inside the lane bounds and avoiding the obstacles on either side. In this particular case, the hard constraints were satisfied and the car was able to maintain clearance with the obstacle walls. Thus, soft constraints were not needed. In this subsequent test case, we wanted to demonstrate the effects of soft constraints. As seen in this simulation, the car approaches in reverse an infeasible parking spot from the right. The sign distance formulation limits damage to the vehicle. A trajectory without obstacle collision was not achievable, so the soft constraints were activated. At the same time, though, introducing more variables results in longer solving times. Now I'm going to pass it off to Arnold to discuss more about the park. Hi, I'm Arnold. After the optimal trajectory was determined through the Julia simulation, the input sequence was then extracted and placed into the BART card to validate our simulation through hardware. In order to implement the input sequence into the BART card, a transfer function was experimentally determined to convert the acceleration and steering values from the input sequence into PWM values for the motor and steering servo. I will now pass it on to Jaffrey to continue talking about the BART implementation. Hi, I'm Jeffrey. For this project, another big challenge is how to set up the Bark. The Bark is based in ROS. We need to write code to create necessary communication nodes in the system for subscribing and publishing data. For several iterations, we made them function well as a whole system. Then comes to the practical part. The open loop control sequence was put into the Bark. We are able to get a real trajectory, which well matches the simulation. And here is a video of our bug implementation. Comprising of two parts, the left is from the driver's angle, and the right is recorded from the top, which gives us a clear overview of the bug trajectory. We can tell that the control sequence works well on the bug. Okay, now I will pass it back to Arnold to talk about the future steps of our project. So after the successful implementation of an open loop trajectory to the BART car, there are a few future steps that we have identified for the project. Our group hopes to be able to test the robustness of the algorithm through different initial conditions and obstacles. We also hope to be able to implement a closed loop MPC control on the BART car by incorporating sensor data from the BART. A better model of the vehicle can also be developed that takes into account other variables such as friction, wheel traction, and steering dynamics. So this basically concludes our project. Thank you for listening.